Welcome to PC Woods Kids Weekly Answer Back, episode number 18. Today we're looking at some more common questions from you guys, starting with the fact that you've got an Intel Core 2 Duo and um, you're thinking about installing a quad core, Intel quad core, and uh, you're wondering if the motherboard will actually work with that quad core. So what you really need to look at here is whether or not it has the same CPU socket. So if, if it's compatible and you're upgrading to an Intel Core 2 quad that has the exact same socket, then odds are your motherboard will support it, but you may need a BIOS update. So check the motherboard manufacturer for that. Another question is, what is the video encoding software that you were using in your CPU videos? So it's actually Cyberlink Media Show Expresso 5. So cyberlink.com, you can uh, go and check it out. That's what I use on um, my CPU reviews to basically test the performance on encoding from one type to the other. Okay, so that explains that. The other one is you have a dual core CPU and you're wondering if you can install a 64-bit um, version of the Windows operating system. Well, sure you can. Um, I've done many reviews on different CPUs and whether it's a dual core or a quad core, it doesn't really matter. They all support the Windows 64-bit OS, Vista or Windows 7, for example. And uh, all you need to watch out for is whether or not the software that you have, which you used before in a 32-bit version, will work in the 64-bit version. Now, here's another question that I've got regarding overclocking ATI video cards. You're wondering, what tools do I use? Well, obviously, when I install an ATI video card, it comes with the ATI Catalyst control center and I use that as well as the AMD GPU clock tool I use that sometimes also to do some tweaking with the uh, with the values and the MSI afterburner actually works both in an NVIDIA GeForce cards and ATI cards so you can use the MV that uh, for both and the GPU Z tool to uh, check things so here's the ATI overdrive utility it has the auto tune option which automatically will increase the GPU and the memory clock for you okay and find a stable value or you can manually use the slider and test the custom clocks yourself okay the other option is using the AMD GPU clock tool and you can set the engine core me uh, megahertz there yourself type it in or increase it and same thing for the memory clock you can set it up there and then set the clocks um, yourself through this tool and also you can increase the voltage from this pull down menu you would get different voltage readings that you can set the card to as you increase the um, the frequencies so this is another uh, utility here like i mentioned and of course there's the msi afterburner software which is free and uh, this one here allows you to also use the sliders to uh, increase or decrease uh, accordingly the core voltage the core clock the shader clock the memory clock so depending on whether you have an Nvidia card obviously you would be able to adjust the shader clock if you have an ATI card you wouldn't and uh, the fan speed of course and then you can save different settings and monitor of course the uh, the uh, temperatures now I use GPU Z for that same reason to monitor uh, the temperatures of the GPU as I overclock I go in here and I take a look and see and enable the logging to file so that way it logs at the uh, temperatures and um, and I can see how it performs another question that I've been getting is when are the new Nvidia next generation video cards coming out you've heard about the 300 series unfortunately Nvidia has decided to skip over that and come out with the 400 series those ones will be the ones that will support DirectX 11 not the 300 series the 300 series will be DirectX 10.1 and um, the uh, new generation DirectX 11 uh, series will be the new uh, GTX 470 and 480 that are going to be coming out first and we'll be hearing more about that later on in March. So keep your questions coming and I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching.